In this video we're going to show you how to set up your DMSS light application so you can remote view cameras. Now the light version will work on both Android and iPhone. If you have an iPhone this is the only one, DMSS light. It will be preceded by an I for your Apple device, G for an Android. Let's go ahead and start it. For your first time, you may come to a tutorial. Go ahead and skip the tutorial and you'll come to this screen. Go ahead and click on camera. You'll come to live preview screen. Go up here to the top left and go to device manager. You'll notice that you already have a demo device set up. Go ahead and click it and delete. Now I'm going to leave this one in here because this is the demo that we're using for this instruction video. But Go ahead and click delete and you will have nothing here in your device manager. Go up here to the top right and hit add and select the P2P uh, mode. Now your screen will change and it will look like this. You have P2P register mode and no name and none of this will be populated yet. So let's go ahead and give it a name, whatever name you like. Work, office, home. If you have more than one store location you're looking at, say you own a multiple stores, go ahead and put the store number in here, whatever you'd like. Serial number, where we asked you to copy down the serial number from inside the DVR in the previous video, this is where you'll enter that serial number. Or you can use the QR code here to capture it and it will populate. Username and password is already admin, admin. Please change that in your DVR. Uh, let's make it more secure. So whatever name, username, and whatever password you put in your DVR, go ahead and enter it here. And it is case sensitive, so make sure it's exactly like you entered into your DVR. Under Live Preview Mode and Playback, you'll see Extra. And in your case, you'll also have an Extra here. Now, Extra means that it's giving you low video quality to save on bandwidth. This does not mean it's low video quality in your DVR recording, just what's being streamed to you. For this particular instance, I'm going to do live preview and I'm going to change it to main because we want a better video quality for our demonstration. And I'm only going to show you one camera at a time. But this is important if you're on a mobile network to save bandwidth. And there's always seems to be bandwidth issues when you're traveling about. Uh, keep it on extra so you can view more cameras uh, and stream to you more smoothly. And once you're done, hit save. You now see the name of your device in your device manager. Let's go up here to the top left and let's go to live preview. And we're only going to show you one camera at a time, but this will be done for the same other, uh, the same way for the other three cameras. Or if you have more cameras viewing down here at the bottom, you can see how many cameras you can have. You'll do the same for every camera. Go ahead and hit the add. You see your device show up and it will automatically populate the cameras that are in your device. So whether you have four, eight or sixteen cameras they'll show up here along with their distinct name if you named them in your DVR. Now for this case I'm going to use this particular camera. I'm going to double click on it and we're going to be able to see the camera. Now from here you can capture picture or capture video to your mobile device not to your DVR this is strictly to your mobile device. So this gives you an idea how to connect your cameras. Let's go ahead and close out by going down here to this X and we'll close out of this picture. Let's go up here to the top left and let's look at playback. Playback looks exactly the same and we do the same thing except you're going to be able to view your recorded video footage. Let's go ahead and hit plus. Again your device shows up here. We go to the one that we want. Click on it. Uh, this will give you what date you want to see. Uh, was it today or was it yesterday? I'm just going to do yesterday. I'm going to hit OK and then here's my start and stop time in military format. Once you get that in, hit OK and it's going to populate. Here's uh, yesterday and it was at 12.17 p.m. Now down here at the bottom, I'm going to scan through what it was recorded. You'll see that these green bars indicate motion recording. If there is no green bar, like right here in this area, there was no recording going on. So I'm just going to slide the bar over to where there was good recording. Stop. 
and now what it will do is search for that time and date and there it is and it's showing up here 123309 and you have your video footage again you can capture video or capture a picture right down here at the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and close out and there's how you set up your DMSS Lite application for iPhone or Android.